Mustafa Kamal has quit as the ICC president. This after a huge controversy that he stoked. He says, as per the constitution of the ICC, it is he who should have presented the World Cup finals trophy, but N. Srinivasan did so. He says this is a violation of the constitution of the ICC and this violation has taken place for the first time. He now intends to expose what's happening within the ICC and he hopes the truth will come out. I spoke to him just a short while back. Mustafa Kamal fought with ICC chairman N. Srinivasan on the issue of who would present the trophy to the ICC World Cup cricket champions. Now he says it was his right but N. Srinivasan's name was announced. He says that's the reason why there was so much booing that took place in the audit at, at, at the stadium. He also said that there was suspicion over umpiring quality between India Bangladesh quarterfinals, and he was right to raise that issue. Just a short while back, I spoke to Mustafa Kamal, who confirmed that he had quit as ICC president. Let's listen in. Yeah, I've stepped down. I've already stepped down as president of ICC as if uh, protesting the unconstitutional, unlawful, unlo the unlawful and unconstitutional manner uh, which has been, uh, has been perpetuated during the last World Cup, particularly while giving away the trophies. So as a protest to that, I've stepped down just to pave, away the, uh, just to pave the way so that the whole world can find out the truth why I've resigned? It's because it is impossible, and for, I think it is for the first time the constitution was violated. Our ICC constitution was violated for the first time in the history of ICC. You see, because it is, it is, it is as per the constitution of ICC under Article 3.3b, it is the responsibility of the ICC president only, solely. It is his responsibility to give away the trophies in ICC events. So, so, I was president. So, who on took the, the decision? On the, on the match day, as president. As I'm, I'm, I was the president. Yes. So, it, it was a prerogative for the president and a responsibility of the president to give us that office. So, while I was on the ground, how come another man, he could go onto the ground and give us the, give the office? There can't be no reason, you know, because you see, there is no saving clause in the constitution that for such, such, such reasons, another person can give. No. Nothing like that. If it has to be done, then he, he was not the president. The man, the ugliest man in the world, who, who, who presented the trophy, he was, not the, he was not the president of the day. And joining me now for more on the story is our consulting editor, Borya Majumdar. Also with me is Shivani Gupta. Borya, what do you make of Mustafa Kamal stepping down and saying this for the first time something unconstitutional and unlawful happened? Well, this was on the cards. This was on the cards, in fact, uh, when we broke this story from Melbourne, when he first criticized the umpiring decisions in that interview. And then subsequently, when I had a chat with him on the day of the final, this was on the cards. He was basically waiting to go back to Dhaka and speak to the Prime Minister and to the BCB officials who were all there with him in Melbourne at that point in time. They were absolutely livid about this whole thing, uh, that Srinivasan would go out and give the trophy in place of Mustafa Kamal. To be fair to him, at this point in time, no constitutional amendment has actually been done to the ICC constitution. And it is the president's prerogative. If you look at the history, Dalmia in 1999, Malcolm Gray in 2007, Sharad Pawar in 2011, it has been ICC presidents who have been presenting the trophy. And Mustafa Kamal wanted to raise this issue after he goes back to Bangladesh, after speaking to all the political heavyweights back there. So this was impending, this was coming, and it's happened. Okay. Uh, he says what is happening inside the ICC needs to be exposed, and now the truth will come out. So what's happening within the ICC that Mustafa Kamal is so miffed about, or is it just restricted to this trophy incident? No, no, it cannot be restricted to the trophy incident. I mean, he's talking about... Indian domination, rather he's talking about uh, Mr. Srinivasan's role here to be specific because he was pretty much categoric that Mr. Srinivasan is violating the constitution, he's trying to uh, clearly sort of negate any constitutional provision that there is within the ICC for his own needs and own benefits. And uh, but the Bangladesh Cricket Board also had a chat to Papon, who's the president, had a chat to Mr. Srinivasan uh, on the day of the ICC meeting, which was one day before the final, and there was a heated exchange. We broke the story on headlines today again on that day. So this has been brewing for quite some time. 
uh, he was very critical of the umpiring on the day of the India Bangladesh match comments which has sort of you know created a stir the world over and then now he wants to take the whole thing and expose what has been going on with the doings of the ICC chairman because the the way you know Mr Shrinivasan has conducted himself according to Mr Kamal is not in the best best spirit of the game and that now that he stepped down from his position as ICC president he will sort of take this up uh, with his own board and then go ahead if i know right the bangladesh cricket board has already sent a letter to the ICC protesting against the stoking giving incident and the way the bangladesh match was consulted so i don't think uh, we've seen the end of the story yet okay shivani when i asked him uh, was this to preempt his being suspended in the next icc meet he said no this decision was taken because he wanted to send a strong signal so was he preempting Uh, his suspension or was this always on the cards shivani uh, the two may not be mutually exclusive gorav uh, he had indicated that when he gets back to dhaka in bangladesh after the trophy row on uh, march 29th in uh, melbourne he will uh, quit his position that's the indication he had given back then as well so perhaps it was uh, a combination of two because he expected uh, that there would be action from the icc itself especially after his uh, question over umpiring standards and bias uh, Uh, that he alleged in the India Bangladesh quarter finals and perhaps he would have anticipated that that was the best way for him to you know make his final stance uh, against what had happened uh, to him regarding this presentation row and uh, also perhaps preempt the suspension as well because sources do indicate to headlines today that uh, in its next board meeting which is coming this week the ICC perhaps would have suspended Mustafa Kamal which would have been in line really especially after his outburst not so much for the trophy presentation but especially for the for the allegations against umpiring in india bangladesh match gorav and on that boria when i specifically asked mustafa kamal that did he speak out of line uh, uh, and out of turn uh, uh, and was he addressing just his domestic audience uh, not the wider cricket playing audience of the world he insisted he still stands by all that he said about poor umpiring standards and bias and said the icc press release also justifies what he said you know i have asked him several times since that interview uh, on the 20th of uh, uh, march in melbourne that does he regret the comments is does he stand by it even on the day of the final when he was sort of having that heated outburst against the stoke giving rao i asked him do you see this as a fallout of that umpiring uh, outburst and he said no i mean he absolutely and, and at that point in time i can tell you gor of he was surrounded by bangladesh board officials he was surrounded by a number of people in bangladesh cricket who matter and he stood by the, his comment saying you no know, he absolutely uh, uh, is still hellbent on saying that umpiring standards were poor and if you see the bangladesh uh, prime minister sheikh hasina is also on record questioning umpiring standards in that match so he has a lot of political support he has support from the bangladesh cricket establishment so what he is doing is clearly in consultation with the political powers in bangladesh because he is a minister and a key minister in the sheikh hasina cabinet as i said we have not seen the end of this row the icc will now i mean we got to see sort of how how this icc stacks up because this decision against the associate members or or uh, not allowing them to play in world cup 2019 might lead bangladesh to unite these associate members against some of the test playing members this is clearly a political issue now and will divide icc in the future okay this is a decision that will decide divide the icc playing it's uh, you know world it it's uh, a divisive issue what happens next in that next icc meet now shivani Yeah first of all I just want to clarify Gaurav when you did speak to Mustafa Kamal and he said the ICC actually backed his comment saying that he he has spoken in his personal capacity that's really twisting it a little bit too far what the ICC did in its release is actually distanced himself th- themselves from his comment saying that he has said it in his personal capacity but that can never really be a full explanation for an ICC president during the world cup to raise uh, you know in public domain raise questions over umpiring so that I definitely did not go down well with the icc as it never will uh, during their biggest uh, you know stay uh, biggest cricket tournament as far as the next meeting is concerned i think uh, since he has resigned uh, and uh, you know with that at least uh, the whole uh, tiff between shrinivasan and uh, kamal comes to an end it is likely to be accepted uh, uh, don't think that there will be any more action taken against him uh, but uh, mr kamal might just make more statements as boria was pointing out as well 
because he has political backing back in Dhaka and uh, maybe talk more about how uh, Srinivasan is uh, using his muscle and arm twisting other board members as the chairman of the ICC. Okay, so Boria, what next? Do we see a lot of Mustafa Kamal statements now coming out, uh, a lot of divisive uh, statements coming out from within the ICC or will N. Srinivasan so far, the ICC has been quiet, N. Srinivasan has been quiet. Do we expect a counter-attack? Uh, N. Srinivasan actually was present in the press box on the day of the final. And when reporters asked him this question, that what do you have to say about this umpiring thing? And what do you have to say about the trophy thing? He actually did not answer. He said, I, will, uh, I don't want to speak on this. Uh, you know, uh, uh, let the ICC head of media, Samuel Hassan, respond to these questions. So he avoided these questions from the media on the day of the final. I agree with Shivani about the Dave Richardson press release distancing uh, uh, themselves from the Mustafa Kamal statement. That is only obvious. I mean, ICC cannot, cannot question umpiring decisions in a tournament that is organized by the ICC itself. It is absolutely not possible by the ICC to do so. So the ICC justly distances itself. Having said that, Mustafa Kamal clearly is doing what he is doing with Bangladesh board support, with support from the political establishment in Dhaka. And now that he has resigned, you know, he doesn't even have to sort of safeguard his ICC position anymore. More importantly, there are, there are quite a few boards which are missed with the way ICC is functioning. Very importantly, ICC associate members, Ireland, Scotland, and a number of others who played this World Cup are now pretty anti-ICC because they will perhaps not be playing in the World Cup 2019 with the same team scenario. Yes. That might lead Bangladesh to unite all of these members against the big three, India, England, and Australia. So as I said, this is a political row now. We have to wait and see how this plays out. Even Mr. Srinivasan's hold within the ICC after the change in the dispensation in the BCCI has now weakened. So we've not seen the end of the story. Keep tracking that story, Borya Majumdar and Shivani Gupta. I will come back to you for more.